name is Lou Chi and I'm from SBP2. Today, I'm going to talk about the statistic problem of Mr. Robert. So, let's move on to stage 0. That is, um, there are four methods, which is, um, I believe in you, Mr. Robert. I will buy 100 pieces of amazing pot. This method is not accurate because there's no evidence and it's a high chance to be conned. And method 2, which is flip coin, is a qualitative categorical and first hand but it is not accurate um, because we use probability and method three i do a statistical analysis compare the leaf total number of leaf after one month it is quantitative countable first hand but it is not accurate because the leaf may shed and method four is the most suitable method to be used because it is quantitative measurable it is first hand and it is easy to observe the result and make the right decision. So, there's the population, sample, parameter, statistic, variable, data. And move on to stage one, where you see the total number of cactus grown on amazing pot. And then from here, we need to choose the most suitable sample to be used. We choose sample with 20 cactus because the total cost in RM is 160, the total cost in hours is 300 hours, therefore it is reasonable in time and price. Okay. For stage 2, as you can see, these are the data of height in centimeters of normal pot and amazing pot. For stage 3, there's like ungrouped data for normal pot and amazing pot and also it is um, there's stem and leaf and group data of ungrouped frequency distribution of amazing pot where we do it in a um, bar chart and the group data of group frequency distribution of amazing pot where we do it in the terms of histogram because it is continuous in data okay let's move on to stage four stage four there's like ungrouped data of normal pot and amazing pot as you can see for normal pot, there are two modes here, 5.4 and 6.3. Therefore, we have to do, in terms of skewness, we have to do two types using the two different modes. That is, we get positive skewness and also negative skewness. Another alternate formula, which is to use 3 times a mean minus median over standard deviation, we will get 0.5389 that give us a positive skewness and then as for the as for the amazing part the mode there's only one mode therefore the skewness that we calculated is a positive skew and then for stage 5 okay, it is stated that the value of p test is approximately 14% Therefore, um, there is insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is more than 0 0.05. So, the final decision is, since statistical test tells me most likely mean height, normal pot and amazing pot are the same, why do we need to buy amazing pot? Because it will be a waste of money since it's, ex since it's expensive. So, um, Mr. Robert should just buy the normal pot to grow 900 cactus. Thank you.